The first step to building your amazing memory is to learn how to easily memorize numbers by learning the phonetic code. The phonetic code is easy to learn, yet very powerful, and it is the foundation upon which your memory training will rest. It consists of only 10 units, corresponding to the 10 digits of our number system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And it just so happens there are only 10 basic consonant sounds in the English language. Now you're going to connect a digit to a sound to form a pair, keeping in mind now that it is the sound that is important, not the letter or letters used to make the sound. So I want you to focus on the sound. Okay, here are the 10 pairs. I'll give you the pairs and I will also give you a memory aid to help you to remember each one. Remember now, imagination is king. It is the elixir. All right, one is the T or D sound. Think T or D. Now, if you think about it, your lips, your tongue, your teeth form the same sound when you say T or D. Can you see how they are basically the same sound? So they both pair up with the digit one. Memory aid, the T and the D form only one downstroke. So there's only one downstroke to make each one of those letters. All right, digit two is the N sound. Think N. There are two downstrokes to make the N, the lowercase N. Digit three is the M sound, or think M, the M sound. There are three downstrokes to make the M. Also, if you look at the digit three and push it over to its left, when it falls down, it makes a lowercase m, doesn't it? Number, or rather, digit four is the R sound, or R sound. Memory aid. Think about and stress the last sound or the last consonant sound in the word four. Digit five is the L sound or L sound. If you hold up your hand, you can make an L with your fingers and thumb. With your five digits, you can make an L like loser. So that allows you to remember that five is the L sound or L sound. Digit six is a bit more complicated. It is three letters or combinations of letters, but really it's one sound and I'll demonstrate. So digit six is the J, S, H or C, H sound. But again, think about the position of your tongue, teeth, lips when you say J, SH, CH. Notice they are essentially the same sound. So the three of them go together to pair up with six. Memory aid. If you look at the six, doesn't it look like a backwards J? So think about that. Six looks like a backwards J. And remember, all the three sounds essentially make the J, SH, CH sound. So that's your memory aid for six. Digit seven is the K or hard G sound. In other words, K or G. Now again, think about what you do with your throat, your tongue, your mouth in general to make the K and G sound. It is essentially the same sound. Can you see that? Or rather, can you hear that? Your memory aid. The K can be made with two sevens laid back to back. Digit eight is the F or V sound, F or V. Now the memory aid for this is an eight 
if you use your imagination and add a little tail on it, an eight looks like a cursive lowercase f. So that helps you to remember that the digit eight is associated with the f sound. And again, think about the position of your mouth, your teeth, when you say the f or the v is basically the same sound. Digit nine is the P or B sound, or the P or B sound. Now, look at the nine. The nine is almost a mirror image of a P. Digit zero is the Z or S sound, or Z or S sound. Now again, Think about how you position your tongue, your teeth, your mouth when you say Z or S. They are, again, essentially the same sound. Your memory aid. Zero is spelled with a Z. Okay, now to help you to solidify this in your mind, I'm going to call out some digits and I want you to say out loud the corresponding phonetic sound or sounds, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, Two, four, six, eight, zero, nine, seven, five, three, one, zero, six, five. Eight, three, four, nine, two, seven. Okay, now I'm going to call out some phonetic sounds, consonant sounds rather, and I want you to say out loud the corresponding digit. Here we go. K. M, P, L, T, G, R, Z, Ch, R, F, B. So that information is all you'll really need, except for a few rules that you'll need to know. The vowels A, E, I, O, and U have no value whatsoever. Just as W, H, and Y, which are the so-called old vowels, also have no value. You can use them freely. Silent letters have no value because they make no sound. And lastly, double letters only make one sound. For example, caddy is 7-1 and not 7-1-1. Do you see why? So now that you know the phonetic code, 
you can make any number of any length meaningful. You can convert a number into a, a word or a phrase, thereby allowing your imagination to work its magic and store that number directly into your memory with ease. Now, here are some examples to help you to familiarize yourself with the power of the phonetic code. Take a look at these numbers here. I have five numbers that I have equated to a few possible words. Just to give you an example, or rather an idea of how this can work. For any given number, no matter how many digits, it translates into any of several words. You can even use nonsensical words. But for any given word, it only translates to one number. So 32 can be moon or man or money. What other ones can you come up with for 32? 16 can be dish or dash. 28, knife or navy. Notice now, knife starts with a K, but the K is silent. But still, 2, 8 is N, V, or knife. N, V, or navy, where the Y has no value. 47 can be rock, or rocky, or rack. It could be Rick, or Ricky. What else can you come up with? And here's a three-digit number. 914 is B, T, R, or butter. Again, notice the double T counts for one value, one. It's not 9114, but 914. It could also be putter. What else could it be? Patter. So many things you can come up with, but your imagination is the only limitation. You now, if you got all of those right, you know the phonetic code. You know it so well. Congratulations. You've just taken the first step into building your amazing memory. You should feel really good. Now, you're ready for the next step. So, onward. <laughs>